online knowledge here. Requirements few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from our space. We now go to we now go to our reporter Rachel in Wellington, in Wellington, where alien spacecraft have landed in their houses apartment. What can you tell us, Rachel? Thank you, Rachel. I'm Rachel. Uh, reporting live from Lambton Key, where alien invaders are causing chaos, havoc, and pandemonium. There is panic and terror in the streets this morning as the people of New Zealand wake up to find alien spacecraft have descended on the capital. There are also reports of alien, of alien agents throughout the towns and cities of New Zealand. While it is unclear if, the, if we are actually under attack, these space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want without hesitation. It seems they will not take no for an answer and humankind will never be the same again. One thing that everybody should know is, is that uh, there are so if... Rachel, hey there Rachel. We appear to have lost our transmission and now in an E News exclusive an alien rep representation has taken over our television studio to issue their demands to the people of the Earth. Standing by in our studio is Renee Rosberry. Now, Renee, what's happening there? Well, yes, sour sweets. This terrifying alien thing said, Give us your studio or us. So we said, OK, then. But the atmosphere down here is very tense as we wait on the demons of the super beings which will decide the fate of the human race. What can you, what can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful like a mixture of poo and Genic tonic and they have terrible manners ah oh it looks like this spooks alien is about to address humanity through a special transmission device ah people of the earth please listen carefully we the beings of the planet mars from the galaxy of the milky way the man called you puny humans, the fellow bones and no particular order. Number one, we want power. Number two, we want slaves. Number three, we want a dance party. If you do not give us these bones as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our nerves. You have two dogs, that is well, there you have it. The demands of a, the demands of an alien race upon which our lives depend. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of our human race? We'd like to hear your opinion. What does this terrifying event mean to you? Have you had a close encounter with an alien being? What are your th thoughts on our immense demons? Email us at www.emergencyapocalypseaddress, all one word, .org. And now the New Zealand government is preparing to issue a statement, apparently the alien invasion began here in New Zealand because we are the first country to greet Earth, to, in Earth to greet the sun each morning and the first and the first to begin each calendar day. These space invaders, it seems, are on a schedule and so the world is watching and waiting to see what happens. The way events unfold here in New Zealand and will have a deep impact on the entire planet. One false move on our government could doom the human race. So with such pressure on her shoulders, the New Zealand Prime Minister is about to greet the media. On locations of the step of the beehive is the reporter Banana, soon to be joined by Prime Minister Cheyenne. Thanks Hannah. While well, crowds of people are wandering around, 
mainly only early morning commuters and people coming home from bars. They seem confused, a bit sleepy. I don't think they have any idea what uh, that they uh, any idea what has happened. Aliens, uh, aliens have invaded people waking up. Wake up. Be afraid. Wait. Now I think I see the Prime Minister. Yes, she's here. Uh, she comes now to address the nation. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister. I'd like to appear to each one of you to remain calm. This is extremely important that we do our best to make these powerful space aliens welcome and display our friendly welcoming qualities and define us as New Zealanders. We are holding up an official pull free later today and I will personally invite the alien leaders to join me on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country by showing off our clean, green, beautiful landscape. We hope that these su superb beings will spare our New Zealand from destruction and move on to Australia. And the government heli helpline has been set to give advice on what to do and count one of these alien beings. We think the best thing to do is hold your breath, smile and in a friendly manner. The quickly run way. The, this information is also available on government website. Go to www.alieninvasioninfo all one word dot gov dot in NZ. Please go to your business as usual. This business will still run. The rubbish will still be picked up. The incommunal will wait for no one. This, that is all. Well, there we have it. Oh, there we have it. Thank you to the Prime Minister for those words of wisdom which are bound to stop people from panicking, looting and rioting. An alien invasion has the potential to unite the world as one, or it could destroy us all. And all we have already had some interesting feedback from our viewers who have some pretty strong opinions, most of them against the alien invasion. Jamie of Fielding wrote, I am so excited about the dance disco, and I say, bring on your moves. And Jennifer from Christchurch says, I am so scared, I am hiding under my bed with my cat and some nachos. So, these hostile aliens are making unreasonable demands on the people of Earth. We have exactly three days to give them what they want or we're all dead. My question is, where to from here? What do we know about these alien beings? Can we afford to ignore them? And where is the safest place for me to go after this news broadcast? We look forward to hearing more of your views on these and other matters. And to help us answer these rather tricky questions, we have a panel of alien experts in the studio to, dim, to, to discuss the alien invasion and what you are about, what you at home can do about it. Introducing Mrs. Potion, the smart one, Dr. Doolittle, who is a science from science university, scientist from Science University, and a doctor person, and doctor person with a certificate in awesomeness. Now, I think the first thing we need to do is keep our music, music off and lock our doors, or you'll be discovering pain. Obviously, that's completely foolish, faultly, and fooled. What we should do is be locked up in our houses in a box. That's all. You two are dim witted bumpkins. And you're wrong. I'll tell you what we should be doing is sending them to anywhere in the world like Las Vegas and get them to blow them up. Right. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, 
Let's have a look at the havoc and mayhem that's happening up and down the country with Gummy Bear. What's happening, Gummy Bear? Thank you. Let's have a let's have a look at what's happening out there. Starting at the far north, there are reports of the alien creatures chasing sheep around the paddocks and down Kaitaia. There has been oh, down Kaitaia has been overrun by the frightened flocks. In Auckland, there is a sense of fear and outrage at the alien attempts to knock over the sky tower and use it as a space antennae for their ships. The city council has asked the public to keep away from the downtown area. A cluster of invaders have been seen swimming in the boiling mud pools of Rotorua and showering under the geysers. geysers. Locals say there are very rude tourists but are unaware of any unusual alien smell. Hawks Bay wineries have become the local or the focus of some curious space invaders who have been seen guzzling vats of wine and passing out in the vineyards where toxic alien vomit and is being cordoned off by police. Wellington has become a landing hotspot for for the alien invaders. They are using the railway station and central bus terminal as a transit lounge where they can relax after a long space flight, get used to Earth's atmosphere and refresh themselves in preparation for killing us all. There may be some disruption of to the train and bus services. In the top South Island, people in Kaikoura are appealing to their whale population for support, believing that the sea creatures' size and intelligence could save us all. Little progress has been made so far due to Lang a language barrier. Meanwhile, confusion regions in Canterbury, where some alien invaders have approached the regional cow community, seeking an alliance based on the fact that both parties have four stomachs. Nothing official has been announced so far. And finally, in the Dunedin, several creatures have been spotted at the Spite Spear Factory, the Cadbury Chocolate Factory, and the Griggs Coffee Factory. The aliens are said to be extremely unstable and should not be approached. Well, that's, well, that's all for me. I'm going to go and hide in my basement. So it's back to the news desk with Kayla and Hannah. How are you two going to spend your last days? Thanks, Gummy Bear. I'm going to go and hide under my bed. And I'm going to get my paycheck and my nachos. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and live reports as they come in. If you would like to keep up with our probable demise on our webcam, just log on to our webpage and click on TV Studio forward slash Alien Evaporation. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying, strange and foul-smelling alien beings have mercy on us all. From the whole team at E! News. <laughs>